Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of the Scrap Mechanic Flooded World. And today, we're going to be looking at another big variety of creations. You may remember we left off the last episode after building this, um, or placing this train house thing in our world. So if you missed that episode, go ahead and check that out and uh, catch yourselves up with what's happening in the, in the world here. Okay, so this time, we're going to start off with something that I've wanted to look at before, but couldn't because it was too laggy. But the creator has updated it to be hopefully less laggy and i'm i need to figure out where i can spawn it though because it's pretty big i think airport island is a good place for that all right so here it is it is survival outpost 2.0 we tried to look at this thing before but it was way too laggy but apparently he's uh taken some of the lag inducing pieces out of it so hopefully we can spawn this in without too much of an issue oh boy it's big Hold on a sec. It is. I am. I gotta find a spot to put this thing down. All right. Even on a lift, it is still laggy for some reason. All right. So we're gonna save this for the end of the episode. What I'm gonna do instead is spawn into a fresh flooded world and take a look at this thing, hopefully without any lag. But let's stick with this world for now to look at the rest of the creations that aren't gonna be laggy. And then we'll head over to the fresh world so we can look at this thing because I just, I really wanna see this thing. I want to see what's in all of this. There's so many different things on here. All right, up first now, we actually have a helicopter, which I don't know if we've looked at a helicopter on the flooded world. And that would be, that's cool because we're at the airport and the airport is a perfect spot for a helicopter. So this is made by XXJKL742XX. I think we looked at something from this person last time too. Apparently there's some number indicators and stuff. Do both of these, do these seats do different things? I'm assuming that this is the driver's seat here, the pilot seat. All right, um, oh, oh, interesting. So I guess that's how you go forward and back. Okay, all right, let's press number two. Get some lights, number three. Get some more lights, number four. Number five, number six, number seven. Whoa, okay, that must be roll, I guess. Nine, all right. Five and six, increase and decrease rotor speed. Okay, all right, I got it now. I got it now, five and six. Okay. 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 I'm, I'm, oh, what is happening? <laughs> is it working? Uh. I'm just gonna turn it off for a second. All right, so we turn it on. Oh boy, we're st oh, okay. All right, let's uh, start heading forward. This, everything's fine. This is working as intended. Exactly, exactly what's supposed to be happening. It's working, see? All right, so I guess six is to go down. Hold on, there's a number in the back and that number, oh boy, that number Tells us how fast our rotor... Alright, there we go. Now we should be going down a little bit. Let's lower our rotor speed here. Alright, this is working. Okay, alright. Now let's go back. <laughs> Just pretending like everything's fine. Imagine being stranded on a deserted island like those guys over there. Just looking for someone to come to the rescue. And the first thing you see flying through the sky is this thing. You'd just be like, nope. Nope, everybody, hide your, hide your help signals. Hide your help signals. We do not want this guy <laughs> to come rescue us. It is a death sentence. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. All right, I'm just going to turn it off now. We're just going to, we're going to head down to the Ying Yang Island over here. All right. See, this is, everything's working fine. All right, let's just, let's just get, gain some control here. All right. Let's go forward. There we go. All right, we're gonna we're gonna land right in this right in this hole here. Or next to it. Look at that nail. Stuck the landing. Look at that landing. All right, yeah. So we're gonna hop out here. We're gonna put this thing away. <laughs> the der derpiest helicopter of them all. And we're gonna see what else we're gonna be looking at. Oh, this is interesting. Let's see if we can spawn this thing in. This is uh by Epic Guys Epic Isle. 
It's an AI boat. Just roams aimlessly around. Let's see. Let's see how, uh, let's see how effective it is. All right. Whoa. Seems a little aggressive, doesn't it? All right. So this is AI. I'm, I don't have any controls here. This is just AI controls. So let's see what happens. What? Who are you? Who are you and what are you doing? All right, well, we have a little bit of ways to go before this guy uh, crashes us into some islands or something. And then I guess we'll see what happens and how how intelligent this artificial intelligence boat actually is. Oh, and while we're on our way, in case you guys are wondering, I have deleted the water activator blocks out of the black pearls, so that shouldn't be contributing to the lag anymore. But uh, obviously, if creations are too big, then they lag. All right, what's going to happen? Holy cow, that's, that's an aggressive correction. That is a really aggressive correction. Well, let's see what happens when we crash into these buildings over here. And... It's just, oh no. It's just an aggressive 180. And sometimes on the wrong axis, apparently. And I guess it doesn't work when he's upside down. Well, it, it was a fun idea, but uh, I, I think that I think that the uh, AI needs to needs to calm down a little bit. It's a little bit a little bit overly aggressive on those reaction times there. Uh, it needs something a little bit more subtle. Otherwise, obviously, it's gonna keep capsizing itself. We have a beautiful looking creation here for Scrapville, a wheelbarrow by Sam Hager. So I'm curious how this thing is going to work. And can we drive it to Scrapville? All right, let's get on. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. All right, we can't go backwards. About oh, oh, okay. So I guess that's supposed to be kind of like turning. All right, check that out. That's not too bad. Let's try to turn a little bit. Ah, ah. <laughs> we're fine. No, we're fine. Everything's fine. This is perfectly fine. Nothing's wrong with this picture here. Oh, I'm just trying to get myself back. Okay, now we're just upside down, but we're st we still we we're still working, right? There we go. No, oh, 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 almost. Oh, that there, there we go. Uh. Nailed it. All right. Well, I do kind of want to put this just for aesthetics over on Scrapville, but I think I'm gonna have a tough time getting way over there um, using the controls of this thing. So why don't we why don't we transport this thing over there and uh, spawn it there? There we go. Okay, where should we put this thing? We should probably put this. I mean, it would make sense to put it where there's like dirt or something or some materials that could be gathered. I don't know. Let's just put it next to one of these shacks, these container shacks. Yeah, just like that. You know, we're just gonna leave it right there. I'm not even gonna weld it. It's not It's not really taking that much resources, right? Oh, this looks cool. This is by Dragahoos. This is a shower block. So it looks like there are little showers up here for people and the water runs off to water the plants. And apparently there's eight hidden ducks on this one. So all the showers and toilet are rainwater fed. The runoff from the showers drops into the plant beds. So let's check this thing out. This thing looks perfect for this island. This is a really cool idea. All right, well, let's um, open this up. What is it? Okay, so there's a toilet, like an actual toilet and stuff in here. Oh, I found one of the ducks. There's one of the ducks. That's one out of eight. There's two out of eight. All right, let's go into the sun, actually. It'll be easier to see this thing in the sun. All right, so we found two out of eight ducks so far. Yeah, this, this is really cool looking. All right, let's head on up. What is that? Oh, okay, so that's like the rainwater, that's it's some type of like funnel using the satellite dish thing. So the rainwater falls into there and it goes into the water container and then it can be used for whatever uh, the toilet and sink needed for. All right, so check it out. So here is one of the waters. Oh, so we're like, oh. Nice water, or nice uh, shower sound. I like that. There can't be six more ducks, can there? There must be like one of these shower. Oh, there we go. That's three out of eight ducks. Still only seeing three out of eight ducks. Okay. Oh, this one has a button instead of a thing. What? What? That all of these have the valves. This one has a. That one has a button. All right. So there's clearly some more ducks somewhere. How are there eight ducks? What is this? Oh, there's another one. So there's four. It's uh, right up over here. That's the fourth duck. There's the fifth duck at the top there. Is it under? Oh, that's a sneaky one. Six, right? There should only be two more. I feel like I've scoured every inch of this thing 
for the seventh and eighth ducks, and I'm still not finding them. So either they're a place that we can't actually see without like moving or deleting stuff, or I'm just bad. Well, I'm gonna say you uh you managed to best me on the duck hunt here. I can only find six out of eight. So let's go ahead and find a spot to put this thing down. Where is Scrapville going to shower? Actually, this spot might be the best right here. It seems like one of the flatter areas. It's kind of like away from everything else too, so you can kind of go take your shower in private, I suppose. But uh, let's have it facing the opposite direction here. That way the actual showers are facing towards the giant sea monster. There we go. And I'm just gonna use wood to kind of just extend the legs down. There we go. Hey, that looks good enough. We have a nice little shower system up here now. This is a really cool idea and it looks really good. I like that a lot. All right, let's see what else we're looking at. All right, up next we have something kind of awesome here. This is Sheldon the Sea Turtle by Sometimes It's Not Minecraft. So this is not AI. Apparently soon he's going to put AI into uh, one of these things. So it swims using its flippers with an assist from internal propellers. It's a little bit laggy, but not nearly as laggy as some of those bigger creations. So we can at least take a look at it. Although it's something that we're not going to probably keep spawned into the world for the sake of our precious frames. All right. Well, it definitely floats. There should be... Oh, it looks like there's a seat right up in the front here. All right. All right. Looks like we can just turn. So that's good. This, this thing looks kind of cool. All right. Let's see how it actually functions here. Oh, oh, we're hitting the ground a little bit. Hold on. All right. All of the buttons do... So, all right. There we go. So we could pitch up like that. We could probably pitch down. This is majestic. This is really majestic. Oh, look at that. This looks awesome. This is really cool looking. It's not the fastest thing, but then again, it's a turtle. All right, what do these do? All right, so then we can roll. And hold on, what are the other buttons? Uh, five and six. Five, okay, apparently that turns the buoyancy off. Six turns the buoyancy way on. All right, that's cool. So we have like a neutral buoyancy, we have a negative, and we have a positive buoyancy. I like this thing a lot. I wish an AI version would be good, but obviously we're we're reaching the limit of um, the buoyancy blocks on this uh, on this map. So I don't think we can really keep spawning things in that use the buoyancy, unfortunately, and keep them in the world at least. But looking at them and using them is still like this thing. Oh, especially with its head above the water. Oh, that's awesome. This is a really, this is a really nice and fun creation. I enjoy this one a lot. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hop out now. We're gonna take this thing down. And I think it's about time we hop in over to the fresh world and spawn in some of the more uh, intense creations that are too laggy for this current version of the world. All right, I think we are in a fresh version of the flooded world. So let's see if this survival outpost thing can actually spawn in without any lag. All right, it is welded. We've got 13 frames. That's at least enough to work with. Um, now we got to get up into it. I feel like this is supposed to be a way up. There we go. All right, let's see what this uh, little mini city is all about. Look at this bar or like store. So look, we have like mustard and ketchup dispensers. Is there a way in? Can we, can we, there must be a way in on the side or something. I don't even know where to start. Oh, look at this. There's like a mini little bridge over here. Uh... Oh, there's a switch. Okay, look at that. The door does open. We can get inside. All right. We got some light. That switch isn't connected to anything. Hello, sir. May I take your order? All right. We'll just uh, put the cash in there. Turn on the things. Do the stuff. Get your ketchup. Mustard. Oh, we got some more switches here. Not connected to anything. Not connected to anything. Okay. All right. Let's head on out. Take a look at the bridge. Got a nice looking bridge here or a place for people to dock. It has a welcome sign on it. And I we just have like a bunch of containers. Looks like just, uh, oh, this is like a radio communications container. All right, I guess we'll just go around and, th and then there's like that boat thing up there. I guess we'll just go around in this direction. Here's another container. What's in between here though? What is this? Looks like we got some like energy production. Some type of generator thing providing power. You can see like the power lines going through. Oh, wow. That's awesome. And we can see the power lines that powers this whole city. All right, so we just turned to, oh, that's dangerous. Okay, we're gonna close that. 
And you know what? For the end of the episode, actually, after I finish looking at this, I'm going to shoot those. I'm going to leave this open to remind myself. Hopefully, I don't forget. All right, so now we're going to go around behind this container. We got some boxes and stuff. And a fishing rod over here. Does it function? No, I think it just I think it's just supposed to sit there on top of the water. That's a cool looking... Uh, I forget what they're called. The little fishing floaty things. All right, what is in here? We got some dye. Why do we have dynamite in here? This is like an explosives wet. Oh, I thought it was going to explode some stuff. This is like a weapons research facility or something. This guy is clearly well equipped. Don't want to mess with him. All right, we got this one. This one has a nice welcoming welcome mat here. And this one's just like a nice casual home. We got some lights. We got a lock for the door, which is nice. And probably a bed light. There we go. And even a window out to the back. That's pretty cool. All right. There's so many details. It's so compact. There's a, what is, there's a container back here. What is this all about? All right. So we can... Oh, this is like a double container thing. So this container has like a, an attachment to this container. What do these buttons do? Oh. No way. We got a little patio back here. That's awesome. There's so many little details in this thing. This is so cool. Oh, we got some science happening over here. All right, so we're going out of there. We are continuing our way down here. This must be like some type of water uh, container or like system, like a plumbing system or something. And this is not quite closed. This is just a bathroom. All right, we got lights in the bathroom too. All right, we have another container right here. We'll open it up and... Looks like another a radio thing. We already had like one radio thing. This is like much more compact though. I wonder if that's just for listening to music. All right, then we got a green container here and this looks like uh, just someone's personal home. We got a bed, we got a stove. Got some lights. You can see the power going into here. I like how he's even, he's like, I do like how he built an actual like uh, power grid system with power lines going throughout the whole thing. You can see them traveling all throughout all the different containers. That is awesome. All right, I think, do we look at everything? All right, so I guess now all that's left is, uh, let's hit, shoot some of these explosive barrels and just see what kind of damage it does. All right, here we go. Here we go. This is gonna be laggy. Wait, are these fake explosive barrels? Oh, no, they're not expensive. Oh, get away, get away, get away, get away. <laughs> oh, oh, it is so much lag. Oh, wow. Wow. There goes that container and a half. All right, where were those? Uh, there was like an explosives place. Was it over here? Yes. All right, here we go. I don't know if we hit it or not. Is it counting down? No, it says ready. How about that one. Okay, do we have to hook them up? There we go. Oh! Whoops! That's why I don't play with explosives. I thought they were supposed to count down, not just instantly explode, but, um, it, that didn't do nearly as much damage. I mean, it did a lot of damage. You could just look at the crater that was made in here. But uh, that was pretty cool. I think this is definitely one of my favorite creations as far as the amount of detail that you packed in such a small area. No wonder why it's laggy. But uh, I think we're going to wrap up the episode there. Let me know what you'd like to see in future episodes. Keep those submissions coming. We might be, uh, we might only have a few more episodes of the Flooded World left considering how the lag is affecting it. So it might be time to start thinking about another series if you guys want to do some more community build type stuff on the channel. I mean, the suspended mountain base we did first, then we did the future military base, and this flooded world. And uh, it seems like you guys are really liking these series on the channel, so I'm looking forward to where it might go from here. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.